anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a Warcaster. Take control of the mighty Jax, arcane devices and dark sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Hi guys, yet again I'm here with Keith from Empress Miniatures. Uh, we're going to be looking at two American vehicles this time in 150th and uh, you can probably already see it from the, the front that this one's quite large. <laughs> Um, so what we have here is the Striker MGS, mm -hmm. uh, and we had two different acronyms for this, didn't we? And you were hoping it was massive gun system would massive do, massive gun yeah. system. Um, but we think it's mobile gun system, probably. Uh, so we have the main body, we have the turret and the gun, which are all separate components. Again, full resin cast. This is exactly the way it came out of the box. Very minimal cleaning required and excellent detail throughout with all your periscopes and so on. The, the modern stuff, particularly the American stuff, doesn't have a lot you can really play around with. The, the vehicles are quite streamlined in, in a manner. Yeah, I guess the stowage is really... Um, is in, in, it, yeah. in, 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 in operations you tend to see them pretty stowed up, but even this, I, they tend to look quite bare. Yeah. Majorly, you know, perhaps the sort of standoff armour, the, the wireframe mm -hmm. armour, but mm -hmm. apart from that, um, I think the shockwave coming off of this thing is so extreme that your <laughs> bags would end up 50 yards away. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, we'll just flip the model over and show that there is a hollow there, so it's not completely solid, otherwise it Pretty would weigh solid, a but yes, yeah. yeah. Um, all the areas for suspension and wheels to, to uh, go on. You were mentioning a couple of things about the build process mm -hmm. when you come to build this thing, that you'd need to make sure just to throw a pin vise down into these Yeah, just, just, just double case. check the, the shock absorbers are seating nice and firmly. Yep. If they're a bit wobbly, then you can end up putting on due pressure on them, mm. but it's it's a simple job. In yeah. fact, even just a craft knife in there is yeah. enough. Uh, they also have their set of pioneering tools or pioneer tools on there. Driver hatch is in situ with its periscopes as well. And there's not much to say about the hull really until you put the turret and... And then it all gets completely out of hand. Then it gets completely <laughs> out of hand because this is an auto-loading Rheinmetall 120mm smoothbore gun. Or cannon, you know, yeah. I always have the gun cannon argument in my head. Um, which makes this a ridiculous vehicle. And uh, sledgehammer to crack a nut yeah, approach exactly. to a vehicle design, yeah. So they use them mostly for house clearing or, you know, house deleting mm. yeah. <laughs> in a lot of cases. Um, the fact that it's an auto loader is quite uh, astounding for the Americans because they never really took on auto loader technology for a long time. I think it's an it, obvious sort of compromise design mm -hmm. in that you, you can't really increase the crew very much of the striker. It still needs to transport yep. things and people. Mm -hmm. um, so the autoloader is a but at least result. Uh, at least autoloading technology has got better. And the first iterations of autoloader were rubbish. Was it the AMX-60 or something? Uh, the, AMX, the... Uh, the AMX-13. The French. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The... Which only carried uh, 12 rounds or something daft like mm. that. I can't imagine this carries a lot either, but yeah, so so. All right, we'll move on to the other parts because we have some metal in here as well as other resin bits. So I'll slide you up there and lay this stuff out. Now I assume these are suspension components. Yeah, they're, they're metal to give you a bit of durability there, yeah. just to support itself. We have a crew hatch for the other side of the turret, uh, smoke launchers, and of course we need a 50 caliber because no American vehicle is complete without some sort of big machine gun. Absolutely. As useless as it would be on this vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> and that comes with a swing arm for it as well there, so you can, you can yeah, position that. Yeah, it comes that onto the want. commander's uh, cupola there. So. Uh, we have wheels and other bits and pieces. More, more underside, I believe, is that? Those are, those are uh, storage oh, racks, actually, storage that go on the side, so on they the fit side. either side here and uh -huh. here. Um, and that's where you'd normally kind of see your tarps and things yeah. placed in there. No. <laughs> the Rheinmetall gun barrel. It's ridiculous. It's when when you're working with you know World War Two to this scale, you think, oh, you know, a Tiger's gun is pretty big, a King Tiger's gun's pretty big, and that blows them out of the water. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. It's bigger in bore, and it's a serious lump of metal, <laughs> which is really cool. And 
But if you think about the, the, the noise and the, the pressure, if you watch a film like Fury, yeah. and they're simulating AT rounds there, and they're only 75 millimeter, yep. you know, nearly double it, and you can imagine what that's like when that's traveling. That's without cleaning that's the gun in place. So the gun is almost, well, yeah, the, the gun mechanism is almost the entire length of the vehicle when you mm -hmm. look at it. It's well, that insane. belongs in the turret of, a, of an Abrams. Of an Abrams, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have That's a back oh, section. That's another that part of that place. there. I should explain. This has travelled all the way from Malta, so that had a little bit of a knock there. Right. But yeah, the so that's our back panel. Exactly. The idea of that, though, as you were talking about earlier, don't mm -hmm. know if we're having too many hands and things in shot. But <laughs> um, why can I just turn that round? Just yep. So what we do do is where we because this is such a large chunk of resin, mm. where we do have um, fills here. Um, we make sure that's covered by more detail. Yeah. So rather than you having to clean that off, mm -hmm. you can actually do quite a cr crude job. And then just put your, your back plate And on that just it. tidies it all up nicely. Excellent. So yeah. That's the idea. Uh, then move on to our wheels, of which there are a few. Plenty of those, yeah. <laughs> this is the, if you're not familiar with Stryker, I'll, um, I will ask the magic editing god to put up a picture of a real one. Thank you. And <laughs> let you have a look at what the real thing looks like. Um, there is a lot of bits to this, and I imagine it's quite a, a, a bit more of an intensive build than... It's a bit of a project. I, yeah. I mean, it, I reckon about half an hour, if, if you're comfortable with how the vehicle looks, maybe yeah. an hour if, if not. You know. So those are shock absorbers? These are shock absorbers, yeah. That's a tow. That's, tow yeah, for you? Uh, yeah that, that just fits on the side here. Yeah. So, yeah. Another little suspension bits, and that's it. There is a lot to that, and... It's a very impressive vehicle. Now, would you go? Would you go back to your design team and say, "I want bar armor on this"? Would you have to photo etch that? We have had have that do... discussion so many times. Yeah. Um, I think at the moment it's it's rather theatre specific. Mm -hmm. Although whether that will be the case going forwards, who can say? Yeah. Um, I think in terms of a gaming model, believe it or not, despite the parts, um, I like things that look a bit busy mm -hmm. and that have the feel of the vehicle. Um, and, and the earlier versions looked exactly like this. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is as far as I'm comfortable going. Yeah. Um, I think after that, we, we have had discussions about photo etch, but I mean, really where that falls down is photo etch bar armor. Bar armor is side on. Yeah. So unless you're going to turn every single slat mm -hmm. or go for something that looks like Venetian blinds, which isn't right. Yeah. Um, I, I think for a gaming model, I think we're, we're kind of where we need to be and right Plus now. it would make a gaming model a lot more fragile. Can you imagine trying to put that <laughs> up? <laughs> trying to get it by the wheels and going... You base it on something about half a foot round just so no one ever went anywhere near it. It's, um, <laughs> but we, we do have that discussion. Yeah. Um, Cause it's, it is a, a, mass, you know, a question of you know, when you bring out uh, an Abrams model and you think, well, which version of Abrams do I do? Do you do the SEP M1A2? Do you mm, put the Tusk system tusk, on it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How far do you need to go, or how far do people want you to go? That's the other thing. Yeah. So. Um, all right, so that's our striker, our massive gun system. We're going <laughs> to move that out of the way, and we're going to talk about another vehicle we have here, um, which uh, is... An old veteran. An old veteran, which is something everybody should recognise if you've watched any sort of modern-ish war film, uh, particularly Black Hawk Down. I was going to say, actually, I think another thing I'd mention with these um, is... They are modern vehicles, mm -hmm. but I think they have, especially in gaming terms, they have applications outside of that. Yeah. So I'm, actually, when I look at that, I think World War Z. Yeah. Um, yeah. I look at the MGS, I think there's, I, I, I can imagine sci fiing that up mm -hmm. in, in, in about 10 minutes, you know, with a bit of bits box. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, your, your zombie incursion. Yeah, you can do you that know, sort of weird. Sort aliens, of, whatever, yeah. you know, um, there's, there's a lot of that. So. War of the Worlds. We could do a, a big War of the Worlds exactly, with all yeah. that, because they used all this in the movies. Exactly. Well. So, if you don't know what that is, uh, you're living under a rock. But this is a Humvee. This is the, the typical American overkill Jeep. Yep. <laughs> they went from the nice little 1940 Willys Jeep and Ford Jeeps, and then they built... It was the Ford Mutts, wasn't it, that came yeah, before this? Then, yeah, because yeah, the, yeah, the Mutts were rubbish, from what I remember. Yeah. I know owners of mutts that say they're a terrible thing to drive and they should never have been road legal. Military utility <laughs> tactical truck. Yes. I just remember it as an early Tamiya kit, which was <laughs> there. Right, so we have our Humvee, which 
again, it, it could be multi-period. You could have um, first Gulf War. So this is, um, to, to sort of put this in historical perspective mm -hmm. a bit, this, is, this represents the earlier stages of up armoring during the second Gulf War. Right. If that makes sense. There's yeah, quite a bit going they, on there. They, they brought them into the, the second Gulf War pretty much as they had been previously. Look at Generation was, Kill or something yeah, like that. Exactly. And they were, I mean, they were all secondhand. Mm -hmm. um, and, the, and, and those you had the classic, you know, you got the press steel doors and yeah. things, or press aluminium doors, and, mm -hmm. and they were very flimsy vehicles. Um, and so you actually reminded me of that series. That is a good one for referencing. Exactly. Uh, yeah. The, the, the first version of the Humvees that yeah. they were using before they started to do this. And well, the people them. that gave those to Marine Recon mm. ended up getting these. So it was like Marine Recon, as Marines often do, got the, the rubbish cast-offs. Yeah. So uh, there are not many parts to this kit, which is nice. It's quite straightforward, this yeah, one. quite straightforward. So we have our two axles for the wheels. We have four wheels and one spare. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the turret. and Chicken coop. The chicken yeah. coop. This was part of what Abrams then had was called Tusk, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I've always assumed that the inspiration for this came from the lessons that Israel learnt about yeah. sort of urban mm -hmm. combat, and you, you see kind of lots of more light vehicles and, and up armouring of, yeah. of things, um, but also sort of the, the change in mentality from being boxed up inside this bullet magnet yeah. to actually giving yourself some reach and some protection and, mm -hmm. and visibility on the, Cause this was, on the when, battlefield. When this... This particular version of Humvee, as you said, was when they started to do the up armoring. So you started mm. to see all these what Sit they call the urban combat suites and, and so all that sort of stuff being added on. Um, I don't think the British went for them as much. Not so much. I mean, there was the whole Wimmick program, which I yeah. guess was the a different philosophy. And they used yeah. uh, some American vehicles. These the was it the Mastiff? Yes. The Mastiff? Well, that was yeah. That was the Mastiff. Was the the British version? I mean, yep. you, you know the story as to why we didn't end up with Humvee. No, actually. It's, um, <laughs> it's, it, I, I love it. It's the reason why we, we stayed with the Land Rover, mm. which unfortunately with the Snatch Land Rover became a bit of a liability yep. in, in, in Iraq and in Afghanistan. Um, I think a lot of it came down to places like Devon and Cornwall. Yeah. You can't drive one of these down a country lane. <laughs> in fact, round here you'd have problems as yeah. well if you think about it. So practical, sort of in practical terms, mm -hmm. the Land Rover... Was a, Whereas American roads and real networks are driving straight perfectly lines fine for it. Yeah. Hardly have roundabouts. So, yeah. <laughs> so our last two pieces here, we have the gun shield and the 50 caliber as well. A very easy kit. Be very easy to put together. You could magnetize this if you really wanted to mm -hmm. as well, so it doesn't fall off in mid-game or anything like that. Um, not a lot to say about the Humvee apart from I think it's a very British vehicle. Mm -hmm. I think it wasn't suited to what they had to do with it, and I hence think the up armor. I think these programs. are both really good examples mm. of of um, vehicles that weren't thinking on the fly. Yeah, basically finding yourself in a situation you weren't expecting and need a vehicle for that. Yeah. And you have you had Striker as an APC at the time, mm -hmm. and you had Humvee as essentially a jeep, and they had to up armor and up gun and muck around with them a lot. But it has made our hobby a lot more interesting because we yeah. get this crazy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um. I think that will do us. We have been rattling on for a while now. More about the history of them than the models. Because I think, to be perfectly honest, the models speak for themselves. I mean, this is a single piece resin cast. And there is practically nowhere that needs cleaned. But I, think that's I don't it. think anyone's going to have a problem with... Oh, absolutely not. Stuff. And it's been fantastic to see them all. Uh, we'll be looking forward to having a lot more of unboxings. Okay, is that yeah. a hint? Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, thank you very much for watching. Keith, again, thank you very much for bringing this stuff along. Um, enjoy your trip back to Malta. <laughs> thank you. At least my suitcase will be lighter this time. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> I'm stealing all this stuff. Uh, so put your comments down below, let us know what you think, and we'll see you again soon. Flames of War brings you the battles of World War II in epic 15mm scale. Go to the hub on beastsofwar.com to find news, tactics and tutorials about the game. Venture into the dangerous dungeons of myth as a mighty hero and stand against the darkness. Visit the myth hub on beastsofwar.com and begin your story.